Good morning, my loves. Happy Sunday. Yes, pardon the casual attire. It's Sunday. I don't have clients this morning, and I am relaxing in my jeans, my Cornell t-shirt, and I plan to watch football today. I know I'm such a scamp. This is a good topic, and I should have probably talked about this a long time ago. Many people, myself included, have problems accepting compliments. Do you find yourself struggling with compliments? I'll tell you why, where it starts. In childhood, many times we are given backhanded compliments. Oh, don't you look cute, but your hair. Now growing up, from the time, oh my word, I was probably three, two, three years old, seriously, until I, um, until I was 20, 19, 20, I was anorexic. When I graduated high school in 1977, yes, I'm old, I weighed 89 pounds. I was a size zero before it was cool to be a size zero. It was a problem finding clothes. And, you know, people would say, oh, you know, you're so sweet, too bad you're so skinny. Why did you eat? You know, they would pick the bad stuff, magnify the shortcomings. And so when somebody would give you a compliment, you know there's a butt coming. So you train yourself to feel subpar, that you're never gonna measure up, that the compliments are fake compliments. If somebody's giving you a compliment and they're acting sincere, they probably want a favor. That's not always the case and we need to break that cycle because that's crap, seriously. That is BS. We are all worthy of compliments and feeling good about ourselves and telling other people, you know, oh, you look nice, you do good work, whatever, giving compliments. So we, ne we have to work on this. What I started doing many years ago is when I would go in the bathroom in the morning and I would get ready for work. And before I would walk away, I would look at myself in the mirror and say, you look nice. Your hair looks nice, your makeup looks nice. I would give myself a compliment and I would make myself seriously say thank you. You have to get used to compliments. Now, if a coworker, a friend, somebody on the elevator, whatever, says, I oh, love the dress or love your tie, love your jacket, how often do you say, oh, this old thing? Oh, I've had it for years. You dismiss the compliment. Let's not do that. Start saying thank you. That's all you have to do is say thank you. I like to say thank you, you're very kind. Acknowledge it, be kind. Because if you compliment someone, you don't want them blowing it off, you're trying to be nice. So take the compliment to heart. Accept the compliment. Honey, you are worthy of compliments. You're worthy of respect and love and dignity and joy and happiness and feeling pride in yourself and in your work. If you do a good job at work, um, on a project, a case, whatever it is you do, feel pride in that. Absolutely. Your boss may not recognize it, but they might. And if they do and you get a compliment, thank you. I put a lot of effort into this. That's okay to say that. Be proud of your work. If you have kiddos, from the time they start school, before that even, if you can, when they're helping around the house picking up toys, give them a compliment, good job. Even if they you know, miss a couple of things, good job, good try, when they start school. Because school, they're being judged by others, other than you, other than your family. So when they start school and they get that first book report, have them do their book report. Ask them, have you read it? And they will say yes or they will say no. Have them read it. Are you proud of it? Did you do your very best work? If they say yes before you even read it, brag on them. Good job. If you did your best, I'm proud of it already. They need to know that doing their best counts. Not everybody's perfect. Nobody wants your child to be perfect. You want them to be happy and to learn to do their best, give their best effort. A 
posted something on social media this morning that essentially says there's more to your child than academia. There's more to your child than grades. There's more to your child than their report card and their exam, you know, how they do on exams. Teach your child the importance of education. Absolutely. We all need education. Higher education is essential. But even more important than that, teach your child to be a good person, to be loving and kind and supportive, to be a good friend, to be a good member of society. The importance of being a good citizen because it is important. It's important to know to be a friend to someone who doesn't have a friend, to help somebody out. Don't enable somebody, don't do their work for them. But if somebody's struggling, help them, lift them up, listen to them, be a good listener, be a good friend, be a good sport, you know, sports, good sportsmanship. It's okay to lose. Be proud of who won. If you gave it your best shot, be proud of that. Because later in life, when they're in college, when they're in school, you know, you have important tests, do your best. If you don't make the dean's list, that's okay, you did your best. When they get a job, they're up for a big promotion. And this has happened to all of us. You really, really want this job. You know you could do the best. You're, this is made for you, and you don't get it. Well, that's because it wasn't meant for you. Sweetheart, what is meant for you will come to you. It wasn't meant for you. Something better is coming. Just sit tight. But all you have to do is do your best. And be proud of that. Teach that to your child, please. Teach them to accept compliments. They're worthy. You're worthy. God does not create junk. We are all here for a reason. Please, stop tearing each other apart. Stop the hate. Stop, you know, belittling other people. The name calling. I know right now, <clears throat> here in the U.S., it's a political nightmare because we have elections coming up and people are vicious and it just, is so irritating and disheartening because we have people with wonderful educations, <clears throat> brilliant minds, good hearts. But when it comes to this, they suddenly behave like three-year-olds on a playground, name calling, throwing mud, lies, deceit, making shit up, and they expect us to support that behavior. And I'm not talking one party in particular, this is kind of a broad spectrum statement. Do you want someone in power that throws tantrums, that lies, cheats to get their way, calls names? How are they gonna be in a crisis? How will the world look at them? How could they be respected? How can anybody be respected? whether you're a world leader, whether you're in a classroom, at work, in your own family, if you lie and cheat, do anything it takes to get your way, that's manipulative. That's nothing to be proud of. That's something to apologize for because you're better than that. Stand tall in your truth and authenticity Stand tall in your morals and values. Teach them to your children. Be proud of who you are. Stand tall in that. I'm proud of you. That's a compliment. Say thank you. You're very kind. 